A big salute to all my KCET 2025 warriors. So usually I start with a big hello, but this time it's a salute. Why? Because you guys, I'm pretty sure, have given your best for the examination. If you have not, then it's okay. It's okay. Whatever is done, is done. And we have to focus on the examination that is going to happen really, really soon. Right? Now, my dear children, exam is here. Okay? Tension would be there. That is kind of very, very obvious. But... Do you think when you enter into the battlefield that is the examination hall, do you think you should be winning or you should be losing? Obviously, you want to win. Obviously, you want to win. And I suppose you do not want to meet your enemy. What is the enemy? Your enemy is stress. And I am here to tell you, even if you meet your enemy that is stress, how to beat it, how to defeat it and win, my dear children. So, I'll tell you one very important thing. I have spoken to lots of children in my life and I have heard them talking that whenever I see the question paper, I tend to forget everything. Sometimes I, I get tense when I see questions and I find it it's out of syllabus. I am not able to process other questions as well. It happens. It is totally fine. All of this is usual with all the children out there. Okay, some st get, get more stressed, some remain peaceful. Now, this is very important. Even if, you might, even if you have enough amount of knowledge, if you're not able to put that knowledge into paper, on the day of examination, it won't be of any use. And I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to tell you a practical thing. So you have to be mentally prepared for that. Yes, so take this video very much seriously. This video is going to be really, really short. I do not want you to hear it in 2x speed. No, this is important. And after watching this video, if you feel that you can give your best, okay, if you feel you can give your best, you have to comment down that I will be my best test version. What version? Best test version. I will be my best test version as in you are going to give the best. Whenever you are feeling that you are the bestest version of yourself, you are going to put in lots of efforts and you are going to do wonders in your life, my dear children. So basically, I have five things to tell you of how you can stay calm during KCET examination. Starting with the first thing, understand what's in your control and what's not. Your question paper is not under your control. Your invigilator is not under your control. Your friends who have studied all the syllabus and come here and they are talking about this. Have you studied this? Have you studied that? They are not in your control. What's in your control? When you get the question paper, your focus, your patience is under your control. So what is your thing? You have to focus on your question paper properly, read and read each and every line of it properly and try to not make mistake. This is under your control. You are someone who might be making the mistake, who might not be making a mistake. So control the controllables. So please not make any mistake and for that you have to focus really, really well and you have to be patient with yourself. Sometimes you might feel that why I'm not able to do it in one minute according to this paper it should be one question should be done within one minute okay it happens you might be working really hard to get the answer my dear children at that particular point of time you have to stay patient otherwise probably you are investing your time but it is it is not going to come off any use as well so your focus and what my dear children your patience this should be something that should be controlled by yourself nothing else the question paper might be difficult might be easy you never know okay got it so do that now next thing try to be in the present for example my paper is not going really really great okay my paper is not really going great i am thinking what will happen to my future i will not get my dream college rvc oh my friend over there shashi he will get into the college he will have a great life or probably go into the past and think like i should have given my best why didn't i give my best so all these things are very very natural to think that is why here i am telling you as a friend Tomorrow, whenever you, this particular video is going to be published, my dear, ch dear children, try to be in the present. Okay? If your future thought comes, if your present or past thought comes, block it away and think that this is the time that I have. These, these hours that I have, this is going to change my future. So I have to work over here. Each and every question, I should be trying it out and not giving up. There is no option to give up. Either you get it or you do not get it. There is no give up option on anything. You try to solve it. If you get it, it's well and good. Now, I'll tell you one, one technique that is square technique. Okay. So, in that, you start with one point. It looks like a rectangle though. Start with one point. Here, you might be saying that I am not able to do it. 
Take a deep breath with four seconds. <sighs> breathe out for four seconds <sighs> and say that I'm going to try it. Okay, so I am not able to do it and over here you are saying that I can try it. Please do it when you feel that it's the verge of giving up. It's not like after every question if you are not able to do, you will be doing this particular thing. Don't do that mistake, okay? So whenever you feel that in a chain you are not able to do lots of questions, my dear children, at this particular point of time, please use this technique. It will be really, really helpful for you. I know it does not make sense now, but if you try, it will be of help. Yes, so try to be in the present. Do not think about anything in your future or your past. Now, next point, make it familiar as in make the exam room familiar for you. Obviously, you cannot get into the exam room before the exam. So what do I mean by saying that is that you have got certain amount of time for the exam. Okay, make similar situation at your home. If this video is going today, that is on 15th. Okay, then I will request you to give at least one mock test paper not to get demotivated or at least one question paper. If you have practiced a question paper, practice it once more, no problem with the same timing. When you put the timing, you get the, okay, fine. I have this much time for this much question. This is how it will be. This is how the situation will be. My time will be limited. I have to work really hard for it. Now, what happens is that we usually tend to give, a, take a paper and solve it for three hours. Now, on the day of examination, it's not going to be for three hours. So, do not get that enough extra time that you're looking forward for also though what say all the situations up there the friends your friends might be writing this all things influence and i get it that's why i'm telling you what you can do is at least try the question paper by yourself for once so it becomes more familiar for you so please make it familiar do not do not be like it's the first time i'm going to write an exam no it should not be that situation it should be like i know how it is going to be i know how to handle it that much uh, what do you say confidence should be there in you my dear children and above all the fourth point, be the best version of yourselves. There might be 10,000 things that might be floating around in your head, but do not forget that this is what you aimed for. This is uh, this is what you worked out for for e for months now. You watched lots of lots of videos, okay, live videos. You were there. You saw so many question papers, yeah. And now you have to give your best version now. I'm not telling that giving your best uh, version is about getting great marks. It's about progress okay progress from the past version of yourselves so this time with whatever you know i'm telling you one thing very honestly in a question paper it's not like all the questions would be new to you no it won't be new to you you are someone who has studied pu2 and pu1 at some point of your life right so obviously you all these things that you have studied might give you certain questions here and there and you might be able to answer it you have to keep on looking for that question that is your best version of yourselves you have to what keep on looking for those questions out there and attempt all of them so do not think like I am going to give up. I do not know everyone is knowing Indo. That's why they are attempting. No. With what you know, you have to give your best. That is the best version of yourself. And last but not the least, and with that, I'll end everything out there. Be kind to yourself. I do not know how your paper will be. Okay. I hope it is very easy. But whatever, however it is framed, my dear children, you have to remain calm. And also, you have to remind yourself that this is you you are getting tense for your future you are getting tense for everything around you right so you have worked for yourself so this time if you are not kind to yourself then what is it about future does it does not make any sense your future does not any, make any sense nothing around you makes any sense if you are not kind to yourself so be kind to yourself tell that okay i am not able to solve the questions i should be probably giving uh, a trial probably next time okay or i should be keeping on trying the questions one or the other time probably i would be able to answer it's not like you you tried but you were not able to do so you closed and you kept the booklet out there and basically there was enough time left but still you didn't try it should not be like that okay so please be kind to yourself you know what this result which is there is going to be published really soon and at that point of time if you do not want to get yourself affected, you should be giving your best. At least at that point of time, you can say that I gave my best and this is all I could do. If you're not doing it, it will be sad thing, right? So please make sure, my dear children, you're thinking about all this thing. It's just an exam. Okay, it's just an exam. And if you're not able to do it, you can give one more examination. That is totally fine. But the life that you have as of now, it's very much precious. So make utilization of this. Give the best version of yourself whenever you can. And always communicate with your parents also. That, Amma, Appa, uh, this is what, this is how I have prepared. Um, 
please pray for me and uh, that's all okay i will try to give my best so they also have an idea that yeah my child is going to give the best do not know whether he or she will be topping or probably not passing through the exam but at least he or she will be giving the best and they will also not be what say uh, be worried later on they also have that mental preparedness in them you get it so please make sure my dear children you are following this and i'm telling you children the paper would be easy okay only easy if you think it's easy okay so make sure you have a positive mentality towards everything around you and do not talk around uh, during the exam uh, before getting into the examination hall how much have you studied and things like that it will just make things bad okay that's a personal suggestions for you, suggestion for you okay please stay focused on your preparation go and give the examination and come back and do let me know if it helps and as i said if you think that this video is going to help you what do you have to say you have to tell me that i will be the best test version of myself yes please do that and wishing you all the best my dear children please share this video to whoever you think uh, need it okay there might be friends asking and like i am so tense uh, tell me something so you can suggest this video to them as well and do not forget to like share and subscribe wishing you all the best lots of love you are going to be the best version of yourself tomorrow bye bye